Hello, good afternoon. It is Friday. I am wearing my other glasses. Um, and I have a cold. So I'm not going to be very productive. But it's fine, because health. Uh, I am incapable of sitting still though. I slept for like 10 and a half hours. And then I spent the time in bed watching memes. And then I got annoyed at being awake and not doing anything. So we're downstairs. Um, right, I'm working on some kitty coasters right now. I will link that pattern. It's a free one on Instagram. I like the kitty coasters. They are so quick to make. Because um, last night I was chatting to um, one of my old teachers from secondary school who I am kind of friends with. Um, about how her daughter was moving out for studies. And I was like, oh, I can send her some kitty coasters, you know, as a gift. And then with the example picture, and then she went, oh, I'm gonna buy those. And I was like, yeah, I'm offering you a gift. And then she bought more stuff. So I'm confused. She bought the four random colors, um, but she really likes green and the random colors were out of green. So I'm just making some. We got this one. I made these earlier today and this one. And I'm currently working on one in brown. And I have a lighter green. I I don't have an in-between of the greens. I would have liked to make a set of four greens, but not happening. And then she got one of the little mushy guys. The keychains. Small. And two of the little ghosts keychains i hope that she's aware that she clicked two of those and that that wasn't a misclick but um two of those and then i picked out two freebie stickers the one of the little student crushed by the heavy backpack and the goro sensei one i'm doing this one because she actually thought this was really funny um I don't know if this is common everywhere, but in Dutch high schools in the first year, I don't know why, but all of the first years have such a big backpack. And the first years keep getting smaller, right? Like they keep getting shorter. This isn't just me getting taller and then going and looking at them and being like, wow, you're small. Teachers are also observing this. The, the first year students keep getting shorter and it's weird. And they grow to be exactly as tall as the previous years. They just do it in less time. It's weird. Um, so I got those stickers. And I'm hoping it's going to fix fit inside of the tiniest box. And I'm going to also put in this scrunchie that I made. I was watching too many passionate Kelsey vlogs and she was making scrunchies. And then I was like, oh, I haven't done that ever. So I made one in green. And I was like, you know what? Sure, this woman has long hair. I'll send her a scrunchie. Um, so I'm gonna finish those kitty coasters and then I'm gonna make a smaller version of the bunny I made last week this week still technically I don't know why but my week feels like it ends on Thursday and then it starts again on Friday I there, there, there's like time is weird anyway I'm gonna make a smaller version of that bunny for my boyfriend's sister and I know that I still have to finish the Pokemon I already started I put them in the bag and then I forgot the bag existed. Uh, but I'm also going to have to make a different Pokemon as a gift for his brother. Because, yeah. And then technically I also should think of something for his sister's boyfriend. But I don't know that guy. Like, I've seen him a couple times, but I don't know him. And I barely know his siblings because they, they just sit there and they do basic small talk. Um, but I want to give them something too because it's kind of weird otherwise um, so I'm going to make a smaller version of the bunny in this brown and I'm going to give it like purpley shorts or like a little outfit I, I haven't decided if I'm giving it overalls or a sweater yet but it's going to be cute and it's going to work out so I, I'm going to do a little time lapse and I'm probably going to show you how I package the little box and then I am going to most likely be done for today. Um, I don't know yet. Previous video was exporting right now. 
I ended that kind of weirdly because I was expecting to film something after it. But then yesterday I was out of the house the entire day. Like I went to the dentist expecting to be done at like 10 a.m. and then go back home. And they were like, actually, you have a cavity. But we had a dropout today in the schedule. So you can just stay at your parents' house for six hours and do absolutely nothing there because you didn't bring a project. And I was just like, yeah, fine. Because that means I didn't have to come back next week. Otherwise, I would have to come back like either next week or in the new year. And that would have been annoying. So now my teeth are fixed. Uh, yeah, I am rambling too long. I'm going to start on the stuff that I need to make. Okay, hi. I finished the coasters. Like I weaved in, woven. in. Wove in the ends. I am a little sick. Please don't judge me for saying things wrong. I made the fun mistake in my childhood of studying like 15 languages. And now when I get ill, I start mixing them up. I don't even actually speak all of them. I just remember like small bits from them. And it, it gets really silly sometimes. Um... The colors work nicely together, I'd say. And these are the other things from the order. I think I already showed them. And I wanted to talk about something that I find a little bit sad, which is shipping. I have ordered a couple of sizes of boxes when I first started out. Because I, I wanted to make sure that I was using as little plastic as possible. So I have these boxes for smaller orders and whenever something is big enough to warrant a big box I go to the local supermarket and I ask them if I can have a box from their like trash um, because I used to work there and I know that they just throw away so much cardboard per day and it makes me sad and I also know that they're allowed to just give it to you if you ask so I go there and I'm like hey you got any boxes from like the chips or the sauce and then they give me a big box and I use it to ship um, these little ones can go into your mail slot so the shipping label that I have to put on these is cheaper these are half a centimeter too tall to be allowed to have that label so for these, you pay the same as for one of those big boxes. Which I think is a little sad, because it's still just a small box. And it would fit this perfectly. Like, all of this fits in here perfectly. And then you have a little bit of space left over. And it looks really nice. Um, but, because this is all kind of flat. And it doesn't actually need this space. Like, it's just slightly too big for the tiny box. I think I'm going to put it in this bubble mailer. And um, I wanted to explain why I have the bubble mailers, because I am against using plastic for shipping. Um, my mom used to have her own business. It was jewelry and soap. And she had like a hundred of these left over when she quit that. And so while I was there a while ago, I was like, hey mom, you got any packing materials left that you are, aren't going to use ever because she doesn't ship anything out anymore? And she had a bunch of bubble mailers. And I was like, well, I don't really like these, but if I don't use them, you're going to throw them away. So that's why I have bubble mailers. And when I run out of them, I'm not going to use them again. I am going to look into some other options besides these bo the small boxes because... <laughs> Um, the sizing isn't that handy for me to buy online. I read somewhere that someone was using biodegradable bubble mailers. And I'm going to look into how sustainable that actually is. I try my best in this, right? Like, I am not that good at knowing when something is actually environmentally friendly. But I try to do research before I buy things. I also try to just avoid buying packing materials that are made new. I like reusing stuff. Because if I'm reusing it, at least it wasn't made specifically for me. Anyway, I think I'm just going to use the bubble mailer. It's like a little bit less aesthetic. Um, but I know this lady personally and I know that she wouldn't mind. So that's okay. I also have my big cup of tea 
and I took some ibuprofen. Um, my fever is mostly gone, it was already this morning, so I'm okay with taking medicine. Usually when I'm ill, I don't take medicine until I know that my fever is gone naturally, because otherwise I get like bamboozled by me taking meds that lower my fever and then me going, oh, I'm fine, I can go do things, you know? Um, but now I've taken an ibuprofen, which means it should fix my tiny bit of a headache that I had left over and my muscle ache. Uh, it doesn't matter what I catch, whenever I get ill, my muscles hurt everywhere all the time. I think that's just connected to the regular thing that I have all of the time. I'm gonna pack this, it's going to make yucky noises, so I'm gonna time lapse that I think, and then I'm gonna start the bunny. Hello, good morning. I have Neo right here. She's being a little heated lap warmer. She's a baby. She totally hasn't been trying to heat my yarn. Um, yesterday I started on that bunny. Um, there's the head. And I have like one partial leg. I'm basically using the body of my goblin pattern and then I'm putting on the ears. It works. And I have some progress on the sock. Um, I have an actual heel turn now. And it feels kind of weird to show you because the way I hold it, I expect this to be the toe. But it's the opening. Um, the toe is going to be like out here. Uh, but that's a heel. There's a corner here. It has been turned. I am currently doing the gusset decrease rows and I think it's going pretty well. I am not entirely sure if I'm doing it correctly, but it looks fine, so I think it is um, correct. One thing that I don't really like about the way um, I'm only using this one color changing yarn is that I did the heel in this orange fading to the pink and then instead of having the fading like it does here it just goes from the orange straight to the pink on the front like the instep whatever you call it because the changing was all in the heel so this is just a, a flat line I don't think anyone's gonna pay attention to that, but yeah, sock progress, bunny progress. I'm gonna continue working on those things. I really wanna finish at least this one sock before I have to go to the Christmas gathering so I can cast on the penguin socks. Um, and I wanna figure out a different way to do the heel because I, I know this lady explained that this little pattern here, this ribbing, Makes your sock last longer and makes it so it like it's more sturdy and stuff. But I don't like the way it looks, so I'm gonna look for something else. Hopefully that will also be sturdy enough. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really vibe with it. I'm gonna make a second one of this um, after the penguin socks, most likely, because there's no way I'm finishing a second one before Christmas with all of the other stuff I still have to do. And I'm just going to keep trying different ways to make a sock until I find one that I actually really like. And then I'm going to install my rule of I don't have to make the second sock as long as I make all of the socks following the same sizing and design. Uh, because I wear mismatched socks and stuff. So I'm going to make a matching sock for this one just because I think I'm not going to use this heel for the other socks. And then it needs to have a matching one with the same heel. Like... It needs to match, but it doesn't have to match in color. It, ha it just has to match in shape, right? That's my sock logic. Anyway, I'm probably gonna keep working on the sock until I'm done with the decreases. And then I'm gonna work on the Christmas stuff. I have figured out what I'm gonna use the triangle stitch markers for, because right now I have the green ones to mark my center points. And the 
purple one to mark beginning of round but because the gusset decrease is like one round decrease one round all knit one round with a decrease i think that when i'm at a social gathering i would like to use the triangles to indicate when i need to do a decrease because i'm gonna lose track of that and you can see kind of but i am not that good at recognizing what is going on in my knitting yet so i think that would make it easier I'm gonna continue working on this and maybe move to the couch, I don't know. Alrighty, hello. I have started on one of the ears. I'm making the ears really big on this one compared to the body because um, I think that might be cute. We got the head and the little body in a little tail in this fluffy yarn that I had left over. I thought that would be nice. Um, that's the bunny so far, and we have sock progress. I'm done with the gusset decreases, so now it's just stocking it until it's the size of my foot, and then I gotta figure out how to do toes. Um, I am pretty confident that I can get the sock done on time. I'm overall, I'm pretty confident I can get my presents done on time. Uh, as well because I don't have that many this year I don't have that many at all ever I make it a point to not make handmade gifts for more than like four people per like seasonal thing because I don't have time for that um, I'm definitely going to be done more on time than last year because last year I finished a blanket at 3 a.m. the night that I had to like the night of the day that I had to leave um, and then I visit uh, visited finished two more gifts on the train there um, so as long as I finish everything before midnight the day before I am doing better than last year um, I am very excited about the penguin socks and it's really silly because it's just socks with color work but color work makes me so happy color work is fun it's like slower and more annoying while you're doing it but then you look at it you're like oh it's a little shape um so that's that's nice i am excited about that i am going to f definitely finish the bunny today and um, maybe work some more on the little flower elephant, I don't know. I'm gonna have a little break now, do some chores, eat something, and then continue. Good morning, it's Sunday. I am feeling mostly healthy again. That's good, I'm happy about that. I was worried it was gonna be one of those things where it's like two weeks of me feeling <sighs> after my cold. Um, I hope the old man noises convey what feeling I am trying to explain because I don't know what to call it. It just like feels shitty, but not actually sick anymore. Um, I made very good progress on my sock. It reaches down like halfway down my foot by now i'm not showing you that because some weirdos like feet a little bit too much and i am not putting that on youtube um but that is sock shaped yay i didn't finish the bunny because um it's still just a little shape um because Neo was being a little gremlin yesterday and then I was sleepy. Uh, so I just worked on the sock more because the sock is the same thing over and over again until it's the right size. I talked about this yesterday but I was way too rambly because I was sleepy so I'm gonna try again. Uh, the convention that I'm going to in April 
which is Roll Initiative Com, which is a tabletop RPG convention. I'll be going there as a vendor. Sent out an email yesterday to all the vendors going, hey, we are joining this charity and we have some little mini games and we need prizes. And then all the proceeds of the mini games go to the charity. It's a charity for queer people, which I love because me. Uh, <laughs> And they were like, we need some small prizes for one of the games and then some bigger prizes for another game. And I immediately emailed them back and went, hey, you can have one of the Cthulhu plushies. Those go for like 45 bucks on my website. I don't know what they're gonna cost at the con yet. Probably gonna put my prices down a little bit at the con just so I can like... Neo baby, what are you doing? She's digging. Um... Gonna make the prices a little bit lower and have like combi deals because I know that a lot of people will be trying to buy a lot of things at the con and I am mostly going there for the experience. Like I'm not gonna make a loss, but I'm I'm gonna make like less profit. Um just so more people can buy something. I think in the long run that would be better business wise too. Uh, because then more people will have a positive impression of me, I, I guess. Uh, but I am very excited that they're doing that charity thing. I, I like when a convention is also doing charity or something good. And I like this convention in general because their table for me was only 35 euros. And I've heard like stories of people paying up to 300 euros for a table at bigger conventions and I heard all that and I was like oh so basically I'm not going to conventions ever and then my friend told me about this convention and I looked it up and the tables were 35 bucks for the smaller ones they have bigger ones too and those are a bit more um, and I was like oh that's affordable for beginners I love that that's so cool and um, it, it basically seems like they are a non-profit because they do charity, they did charity last year too, the con is only two years old. And everything is relatively affordable, so... That's fun, I love that. I... Uh, I'm very excited about the con, I'm going to bring way too much stock because it is two days. And I don't know how much I will sell, like I cannot guesstimate that for myself because I've never done a con yet. So the plan is to just make way too much stuff and then whatever I don't sell, I just bring back home and save for a future market or to just put on the site. And I think that's gonna be fun. Right, funny story of what Neo did last night that made it so I didn't get much done. She managed to have zoomies and then run over the couch in such a way that she tipped the remote in the air and against the wall and then the batteries of the remote scattered under the couch. So we had to move the entire couch and stuff and then we found the batteries and we were like, but where's the little lid that goes on the back of the remote? We couldn't find it. And then I looked inside the heater and it was just like in between the layers of the heater and we had to like jiggle it a little bit, like the, the, the radiators on the wall, that stuff. And that took way too long. And then as soon as we fixed the remote, Neo started slapping it because I, I, I guess she was mad that we fixed it. Um, so I didn't bring my crochet stuff near her because I thought she was going to uh, also be mad at it. Right, Neo, you're a little menace. Say hello to people. Meow, meow. Oh, you're stinky. Oh, boo. Um, yeah, I think I might actually be able to finish the sock today, so I'm going to try and do that. Um, and then focus on stuff. I got my little bowl of the stuff that I'm supposed to be working on today. And then I can just pick from the bowl, and I don't have anything else downstairs, and I'm gonna be comfy on the couch and not wanting to move. So that's how I guarantee that I'll work on the things I'm supposed to work on. Or I'll go on my phone and play silly games. I downloaded another cat puzzle game. I keep doing that. It's fine, I'm, I get plenty of stuff done. I am so productive. I am much more productive than I ever expected myself to be. Look at this sock. It's so colorful and actually sock sized. 
amazing. I can't wait for like people in my friend group or like age range people that I know to get to the point where they're having kids. I'm like I'm 20, some 20 year olds are having kids. I will not be doing that anytime soon uh, and neither will most of my friends. But I'm excited for when I have friends with kids because baby socks and like little little baby cardigans and stuff like that, they go so fast because they're so small. And then you can show up and you basically make like this size of a sock and it goes down to here and then it sticks out already and then it's a whole sock but it's so tiny and you show up and you're like look i made this thing for your baby and they're going to be so impressed but it went so quick i can't wait for like that that and then as soon as they get a little bit older where it's actually kind of sizable what you're making i'm gonna hate that i said that because then i still have to make stuff for those kids because i started out making stuff for those kids neo baby you better not be scratching the fucking couch Hi, hello, I can see you, you're not hiding, you have a scratching post, you know how to use that, yeah, yeah, cool, uh, downside of baby socks is that there's not really any room to do color work on them I guess, so they would be very plain, I'll figure that out later, no one's having kids yet, I'm gonna work on the sock. Okay, hi, I have Neo here. She's being very clingy today. This whole weekend, actually. He be such a little baby. Ooh, little baby. Um, <laughs> I finished the bunny. She's small with the big ears. Uh, and the fluffy tail. I am considering her face. And if I'm giving her a little outfit, I'm thinking I might give her like a... A winter hat because I did put her ears a little bit low um, so like a little hat on here and probably just a little nose with the stripe down for the mouth again I like that face for bunnies I think she's cute I hope she'll be appreciated I'm gonna pick a color for her hat and fix that real quick and maybe get Neo a little snack because she's being a baby. You want to say hi, Neo? Hi. Oh, the birds are back. The birds are back. Oh my god, the birds. You go hunt. Um, when she wasn't being cuddly, uh, she was sitting on the corner of the couch staring at the birds in the yard. Which I think is her favorite activity. We had put out a bunch of bird food. Um, like those little balls of seeds and fat. And then you dangle them on branches and stuff. We put out a bunch of those in the yard. So there would be more birds for Neo to look at. Yeah. We put bird stuff for you. More birds. Oh you got fluff on you. I'm sorry. Whenever she lays on my lap when I'm working with the fluffy yarn. Some of the fluff particles get on her fur. And it looks really silly. Oh, loaf. Loafin. What a good cat. I love this cat. She's small. I'm gonna pick a color for the beanie. Hello. I have finished the little bunny with... A little outfit, little butt, long ears, scarf, hat, all of that is removable, big head ass. Um, yeah, and this was the Christmas gift for my boyfriend's sister because I'm having Christmas at their house stuff and then you gotta get a little something for everyone and however the fuck that works. Uh, so I showed my boyfriend and I was like, would your sister like this? And he instantly went, yes, and I also want one. So, um, second bunny. <laughs> That's fun. I like making bunnies. That's good. They do take quite a while because the ears, but that's fine. 
Um, this one is supposed to be a little bit bigger because it needs overalls and overalls require a little bit more size on the bun because, oh, if you look at this one, it has like barely, barely leg. I can't really put pants on this. The legs are too short for the pants. It is a funny little guy though. I'm gonna work on that then. We're for like a little bit. E. 